Hey guys, if you've been on Pinterest lately, you're probably familiar with the trend that is the zucchini noodle or the zoodle. They're a super fun way to get your kids to eat veggies, they're great if you're looking for a low carb dinner option, and they're actually super easy to make. So today I'm gonna to share with you two easy ways to make zucchini noodles and my favorite sauce to put on top of them. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. You need zucchini, whole wheat pasta, and then either a spiralizer or a vegetable peeler. And then for the sauce, you'll need an avocado, basil, garlic, pine nuts, olive oil, salt and pepper. So we're gonna start by making our zucchini noodles, and I'll show you the first way using a spiralizer. This was only about 15, 20 bucks, so not too bad, and it's super easy to use. Trim off both sides of your zucchini, and put it right in the center, and start twirling. So the spiralizer makes these beautiful long ribbons of zucchini, which I love. And it also can do a zucchini in under a minute. When you get to the very end of the zucchini, there's a little accessory to help you. So the second way is a little more manual, but still not too bad. I'm gonna trim both ends off, and then use a vegetable peeler to create even ribbons. As I go, I'm just stacking the ribbons on top of each other. When I get close to the seeds, I just flip it over and continue. You don't want your stacks to be too tall or they'll be hard to slice. To turn my ribbons into noodles, I'm gonna use a little paring knife and just create little strips down each one. So two different ways, but the same beautiful results. Now because zucchinis are about 90% water, you wanna get rid of some of that water so you don't have soggy zucchini noodles. So I'm gonna put them into a colander and then sprinkle them with just a little bit of salt. And the salt would just help draw out the water quicker. Now we can set this aside and let it drain while we make our sauce. Today we're gonna to make a creamy avocado pesto, which is a perfect complement to the lightness of the zucchini noodles. So you will need one avocado, which I'll slice into, and then we're gonna use a Cuisinart to make this. So I'll just put this into the bowl of my food processor. I love this color. And I'm using the whole avocado today. And then we have some fresh basil, which has such an amazing smell and reminds me that summer is just around the corner. And then some pine nuts for a nutty flavor, one clove of garlic, and finally some olive oil. And let's not forget a little salt and pepper before we puree. Now we can turn this out into a bowl before we check on our zucchini noodles. Look how creamy this sauce looks and it smells incredible. The zucchini has drained for about 20 minutes and I'll show you how much liquid has come off of it, quite a bit. And you can see it's shrunk down from the top of the colander. And next I'm gonna pat my zucchini dry just between some paper towels. So turn them out and give them a nice pat. Now some people eat the zoodles totally raw. I like to give them a quick saute just to make them a little bit more like pasta. And I just do that in a little olive oil over low heat. The zucchini noodles are off the stove. I also have a little bit of whole wheat pasta. Now this is optional, but I do find it helps, especially with the kids, in making this seem a little bit more like a meal and less like a vegetable. So I'm gonna put my zucchini noodles on top. And next, our delicious avocado pesto on top, followed by a good toss. The color and the smell of this is amazing. So that's it guys, two easy ways to make zucchini noodles and one delicious sauce to put right on top of it. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. I'll learn zucchini noodles on the best.